Hello everybody, here we are back at our channel on YouTube and as you can see I filled mine in a little bit and we're going to go over that as well. I actually changed my picture to some clip art that I found that better represented what I want to convey here. I put in my keywords and we'll go over that really briefly and I also changed my theme colors and we will go over that. Now I, I saved the channel tags for this separate video because I did want to spend a little bit of time on it because channel tags, tags, keywords are so so important for anything that you do in marketing and of course it's important for your video marketing but this is not a course on keyword research no matter it is extremely extremely important that you understand the concept of keyword research, keyword research which is basically just understanding that anybody who goes online to look for something is typing in words and we call those words keywords so what you're trying to do is match the keywords that people are typing in to what you have on your site and that's what Google does and YouTube does when they're trying to determine how relevant your content is they see how it matches what people are typing in so luckily there is a way to find out what people are typing in and you can use that in order to create your channel tags so in my channel I'm going to be promoting you know health and wellness this is a very very broad broad category and so I targeted words that broadly refer to health and wellness and they also will it, every video that falls into this channel will fall into this category of the channel tags. Now once you do get down to your specific videos for each specific video that you do you will be very specific in choosing your keywords for those videos but for the channel you want to keep it relatively broad to make sure that it encompasses everything that you offer. So the, ch the channel tags that I chose are how to stay healthy, staying healthy, healthy kids, tips on staying healthy, health and wellness, etc., etc. All of those, they kind of say the same thing, but these are the actual words that people are typing in. And these, again, are very general. Now, how did I find these keywords? I used, in this case, just the free Google AdWords keyword tool. There are lots of paid keyword research tools that you can go out there and buy but I find that this one has always worked pretty well for me I've used the paid ones too and I do have paid ones but for this channel I just used the Google AdWords keyword tool I'm gonna to pull it up right now you just go to Google just go to google.com and type in keyword tool and at this point in time it's the second one that comes up but anyway you're looking for the AdWords google.com keyword tool okay here it is it's come up now if you have a Google AdWords account it will prompt you to sign in at some point but you don't really need to um, and here you will type in the word or phrase that best represents your site so when I was doing my research I put in I think I put in staying healthy and then you hit search okay and as you can see here just the term staying healthy which is obviously very very broad it has 27,000 over 21 27,000 global monthly searches that's actually people who are actually typing that in to Google and it's funny because the competition is really not all that high this is something that you will analyze when you're doing the proper keyword research which I'm not going into in this video but the competition is relatively low for that and then if you keep scrolling down I'm going to sort this by global monthly searches so I want the highest amount of searches to come up and I'm also going to at this point after I've sorted it by global monthly searches I'm going to put only show ideas closely rela related to my search terms okay and here we are we've got 
as you can see, the numbers have narrowed down quite drastically because I chose that, but that's fine. Ways of staying healthy, staying healthy in child care, tips to staying healthy, tips on staying healthy. So everything is using staying healthy in there. And you can just write down the ones that are the most relevant. And I think I did staying healthy and I might have tried preventative health, preventative nutrition or something. So just put in a few words that broadly represent what you're trying to represent on your channel and then you will use those in your channel tags which by the way you can change at any time as you go on if you feel that they need adjusting or anything like that so I'm gonna put this down I chose how to stay healthy all of these these words on staying healthy then all you do as you can see there, there are quotes around each of these phrases here. Now I didn't put those quotes there. All I did was put in how to stay healthy, comma, staying healthy, comma, healthy kids, comma, space, comma, space, comma, space. If you do that, once you hit save changes, it YouTube automatically puts the quotes around there to make sure that they know that you want to include that whole phrase as a tag. And that's what you want to do. Also, it's worth mentioning, and I don't see it here, but I know that I put in extra, I had more tags than this, but something was happening and the quotes weren't coming up when I hit save changes. So when I deleted the last two, then they came up. Just don't exceed the limit of characters. You want those quotes around your words and you don't want to ex exceed the limit that they have for channel tags. I have about 20 up here, so you can put quite a few. So that's for channel tags. If you do want some more in-depth training on doing the actual keyword research, I'm going to put the links to my other trainings that I've done on another YouTube channel on keyword research. And I will also put some other resources in the description that you can check out if you really want to get into the whole aspect of, of keyword research, which of course is very important. So, moving right on then, okay, I changed my picture, we had already done that, so you already have your picture up there. Now what you want to do is kind of do the look and feel, as they call it, of your channel, and that's the colors. Now, the the, ver the default settings, for you go into, over here, within your settings, to themes and colors. <coughs> All right, these are the defaults, and I would not recommend that you use these. A lot of people I see use the blue and the red and they just choose that. Well what happens is your channel really looks like this. It's very hard to read when you see an all blue or an all red channel. What I re recommend is that you maybe choose a basic outline of the color that you want and then you hit down here show advanced options. And what I did here is I used the colors that I wanted and I put green around my channel, but you want all of this information to be legible. So I would recommend that you do it in a very light color or even white, as I have done here. And all you do to do that is make sure that the wrapper text color, wrapper link color, and background color here are white and then you can play around with the other colors you can change the font and all of that stuff I don't usually worry about that but I do make sure that my channel is not covered in color because it is very hard then to read okay and so that's the general there you have the very very skeleton let's say of your of your channel now what we're gonna do if you don't have a video yet they want to upload are you ready to upload I'm going to show you how you can make it look like you've uploaded videos to give personality to your channel. Now, I've done that already um, by creating a playlist. These are not my videos. This is a playlist, but at least it fills up my channel until I actually put a video on there. And I'm going to show you how to do that in the next video. And again, I will leave you some resources <coughs> on keyword research in the description and possibly a link actually in this video. So I will see you in the next one.